I'm Arian Cornell, and I'm joined by my co-host, Patrick Zaituni. Welcome, Patrick. It's your maiden appearance with us here at the desk. So let's get into today's launch. This is very exciting as we now have two vehicles in operation, one of which is going to be dedicated to flying payload flights, and that one has flown seven consecutive successful missions. Very nice. And now we have this new vehicle today that's going to be taking its first flight, and this one, this one will be used for astronaut missions. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Command engine start. 2, 1, ignition. <laughs> Go Mission Control has confirmed New Shepard has cleared the tower on her way to space from Launch Site 1 in the West Texas desert with Mannequin Skywalker on board. All right, now approaching main engine cutoff for Miko. So we're going to shut off the BE3 engine. Miko is confirmed. Now you'll notice that the the booster and the capsule are continuing as it's a, their combined ascent to space as you watch the altitude continue to speed is dropping of course as it no longer has the propulsion from the BE3 engine. Separation of the two craft is confirmed you can start to see the two craft in the screen. Thank you again, everybody, for joining us live for New Shepard's 14th mission to space, the maiden launch for this rocket. So far, everything appears to be nominal. The two craft have separated right about now is when, if you were an astronaut in there, that's when you'd be able to float around, gaze out of those huge, gorgeous windows, maybe even do a somersault or two. I know I would certainly do that. And as we've noted in previous flights, if you follow along on the speed on the top right corner, as soon as that speed hits zero, that's when you know that the rocket and the capsule have hit its apogee point, the highest point in the flight of the rocket. There you go, it's hit zero, and now they are heading back home. We should have an unofficial Apogee altitude coming up here shortly. But we have gone well over 100 kilometers, the Kármán line, the official line of space, and there it is, 350,827 feet. You can hear our team back here at headquarters enjoying our, this moment for this rocket. And there we go. The crew capsule has its mains deployed, fully inflated. What an incredible day for the team. What a beautiful shot. You know, Mannequin Skywalker, I mean, <laughs> if he had adrenaline, his heart would be, would be thumping pretty hard. What a day. All the way up over the Carmen line and back, coming in for a nice soft cruise back into our West Texas Valley there. Just about 400 feet above ground level. We're waiting for the retro thrust systems to fire. 
and then a nice soft landing. And touchdown. <laughs> what a day. What a beautiful shot.